How to create a smoke text animation effect in DaVinci Resolve 18.0.2. Inside your project edits window, go to effects, and underneath toolbox, select effects, and go to drag a fusion composition filter to your edit timeline. Right click on this fusion composition edit, and go to open in fusion page. Inside your fusion nodes panel, hold in shift and press space, to open up the Select Tool window, use the search box at the bottom to find the Text Plus tool. Select this and go to click on Add. Select either the left or right view options underneath the nodes that you will be working in in Fusion throughout the tutorial so that you can see a preview on your screen above the Fusion timeline. With the new Text 1 node selected, go to Inspector and underneath Text, type in the message that you wish to have appear on your animation effect. Select a horror themed font such as Chiller for example. Keep the colour as white and adjust the size appropriately. Here in this example I will set the size to 0.45. With text 1 still selected hold in shift and press space and go to add a glow tool. Maintain the default settings under inspector for the controls of your glow node so that a gentle bright blur appears around the characters of your message which will help blend in with the smoke emitting from this later on in your animation effect. Deselect Glow 1 by clicking anywhere on your empty nodes grid, hold in shift and press space, and go to add a merge tool. Click on the grey box to the right of Glow 1 and drag your mouse cursor to the green arrow of your Merge 1 node, which represents the foreground output of two effects that you can apply to this merge node. The animated smoke effect will be connected to the yellow background arrow of Merge 1 later on, so that this doesn't obscure the message in your final animation. Connect Merge 1 to Media Out 1. Now to create the smoke styled particles. Hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add the P Emitter node. Since we want the smoke to emit from the text, we need to be able to join our first Text 1 node to this P Emitter tool. To make this possible, with P Emitter 1 selected, under Inspector and Region, change Region from Sphere to Bitmap. Click on the box to the right of Text 1, without disconnecting this node from Glow 1, and connect to the new yellow arrow which appears to the left of P Emitter 1. With P Emitter 1 still selected, go to Style under Inspector, and change Style from Point to Blob. Double click on the new size controls option which appears below this. Double the size from 0.1 to 0.2 to increase the thickness of the smoke that we will create. To have the smoke particles decrease across its lifetime, for size over life, drag the yellow node to the left of the chart to the top left corner to maximize the size of the smoke particles as they're emitting from the characters in your text. Then drag the node on the right side of the chart to the bottom right corner so that the size of the particles continuously decrease over their lifespan. To create the illusion that the smoke effect is blending into the surroundings throughout the animation, double click on the fade controls option below and decrease the out value to 0.25 so that after the first quarter of its lifespan, a smoke particle will start fading away. For the basic settings of the particles, including the quantity, go to controls, under emitter, Change the value for number depending on how much smoke you want filling your canvas. Here in this example I will increase this value to 2000. And to ensure that the smoke particles remain on screen for a significant amount of time before they fade away, I will double the lifespan here to 200. With P emitter 1 still selected, hold in shift and press space. And go to add a P turbulence tool. For this new node under inspector, Increment the X, Y and Z strengths to 0.5 so that the smoke particles float around the canvas more in all directions. With P turbulence still selected, hold in Shift and press space once again. And to have the smoke particles processed by DaVinci Resolve, go to add a P render tool. To apply more blur to the smoke effect, with P render 1 selected, hold in Shift and press space. And go to add a Gaussian blur tool. For this new node under Inspector, set the strength under Controls to 0.6. Connect Gaussian Blur 1 to the yellow background arrow of Merge 1, so that the smoke particles will be emitted from behind our text. 
If you find that your smoke effect obscures your text too much when dragging the red frame pointer to a later section on your Fusion timeline where you can see a preview of your animation effect, we can decrease the vibrancy of the smoke by returning to the P emitter node and under Inspector for your P emitter node, under Region, reduce the value for High. In this case here, I will reduce this value to 0.7. Keep Low set to 0.5 to avoid an overflow of smoke on your canvas. Return to your Edit window. With the Fusion Composition clip selected, hold in Control or Command if you're a Mac user and press D to adjust the duration of the clip as you wish. Click Change when you're done. Right click on your Fusion Composition clip and go to select New Compound Clip. Click Create once you've given the clip a name. This new setting will enable us to modify the speed of the smoke effect. With the Compound Clip selected, press R. Decrease the speed to 60% and to avoid a stop motion type effect during your video playback, with your Compound Clip selected, under Inspector, go to Retime and Scaling. Change Retime Process from Project Settings to Frame Blend. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.